So here we have the Jaguar XF on a 66 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a four door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot first of all and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. We've also got that vinyl boot liner, which would have been an additional extra in this car. And we can fold down those rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. We have the rev counter on the right-hand side. In the centre, we have the fuel gauge and the cool and temperature gauge. Um, at the bottom section, uh, you can see, firstly, the total miles of this car. They're 75,993. To the right-hand side of that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, uh, so of course, we are in park at the moment. The information displayed above that can be changed using a button on the steering wheel. You've got various different menus available to you in that section. And you can see above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons that change that information in the center are just here. We've also got stereo controls on there as well our phone controls and then on the right hand side we have the speed limiter for the car behind the steering wheel the minus and plus paddle so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox should you wish to do that and then over in the center we have the main touch screen for the car which uh, includes satellite navigation Really nice colour display, it's a very, very easy system to use ultimately. We can go back to the home screen from here, pay your phone down in the bottom left hand corner, uh, which we are not going to do at this moment in time. When it comes to your music, that's the top left hand corner, and there's a number of ways you can listen to music. We have DAB radio as you can see, FM and AM as well. Also once you've paired your phone, you'll have Bluetooth audio up there as an option, and of course auxiliary input which you can already see uh, being displayed now. Um, we can also set our climate control settings here. We do have manual buttons for those, which I'll come to in just a moment as well. We can turn our parking sensors on and off from up here, uh, should you wish to. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see that you get a visual guide for the parking sensors, as well as, of course, uh, them beeping when you get near an object. Working our way down, we have those manual buttons for the dual zone climate control that I mentioned. So you can adjust your uh, passenger temperature, your driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off, in this case, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now take full control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain those temperatures. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings. You have the volume for the stereo down here. This button starts and stops the engine for the car. We then have the dial, which uh, is essentially the gear lever. Uh, so we have reverse, neutral, drive, and sport available on there. And of course, park, which is where we started initially. We can turn off the stop and start from here. We can turn off the traction control from here, and we can change the driving setup of the vehicle. So every push of that button will give us a different setting. So we've got ice, um, as you can see, rain and snow. We've got eco, normal, and dynamic as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.